Hey guys, it's John here at Peach again. I'm here with my good friend Pepan from Eastman Music. He's going to uh, show us some new killer stuff for Nam. Uh, Pepan's the man. We haven't seen him in a couple of years, and it's so good to see him. This man's got moves smoother than Pete John Travolta, I tell you. So anyway, you'll have to leave that one down to your imagination. <laughs> take us, take it away, Maestro. Thank you, John, for the introduction. Welcome, everybody. How are you going to live up to that? Yeah, no, no, I no. can't live up to that. I'm an old fart by now, so no, no. that's way, that's way back in before the Stonehenge. We'll see, we'll see. So, star of the show for us is the new Juliet LA, our uh, blue LA colored uh, solid body, offset with the Fat, fat Cat P90s, uh, with radiator covers, the Les Trem. Uh, really beautiful matching headstock we're slowly moving into those kind of custom colors stuff like that uh, it's it's a personal favorite of mine and 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 that's the beauty of the whole juliet line that yeah we can we can we can go whatever way we want with this and that's uh, so we're really proud of that one uh, it's got the two volumes, one tone. As always, tone only works on the treble pickup because you don't want to dial off the tone of your uh, of your rhythm it pickup. Gives, it gives it a bit more clarity then without the tone connected. Yeah, exactly, to it well, exactly, it? Yeah. and a little bit. So, very happy with that one. Uh, then another one, another new edition of Romeo. This is Romeo California. Biggest difference, it's got it's the first one with a center block. Where Romeo regularly is a, a hollow body guitar with a small block underneath the bridge. This is a center block, flame maple top, two bare knuckle old guard humbuckers. So really like an old fashioned, uh, like, uh, like a 335 kind of sound. But because of the mahogany back and sides, it really has a different sound than, than, than all the others. A much more woody sound. Really like this one with the Goldo locking tuners. Yeah, that's a great looking guitar, lovely burst finish on it Yeah, the, well. burst, the gold burst always yeah. works really well for us. And uh, for all you rockabilly Gretsch lovers out there, we've got a fully hollow Romeo with two Cyclone Seymour Duncan filter Tron pickups. Uh, this one also really is, is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Uh, the reason being that the filter Tron pickup is it's just really, really something that gives you a different sound from the regular humbucker or a P90, yeah. somewhere in between. And you can you can go whatever direction you want with a guitar, with a pickup like that yeah. on a hollow body guitar. It has the power and the twang, doesn't it? As yeah, well? absolutely. Yeah. It's it's a really, really uh, I don't know. For some reason, they always have the magic. And and until recently, Seymour Duncan wasn't able to uh, work this, give the Cyclones to other brands than Gretsch. Unfortunately, that's been solved. So now. First, uh, first opportunity. I yeah, immediately to straight in there. That's the that's uh, the regular uh, Romeo uh, LA. So I love the pair because if you look at the two of them, you you, you clearly see the differences. Obviously, yeah. a semi and a solid body, but also the black guard and the black uh, pickup rings compared to the, give them a real different, uh, 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 yeah, signature look. I really love that the uh, that step there as well. The blue and the black works great together. Yeah, we really you see that across the lines with with the Juliet model, and I'm I'm extremely proud that uh, my colleague uh, Otto D'Ambrosio, our chief designer, he we worked so hard on getting something that really when you see this on stage, you know that it's an Eastman guitar. That's yeah. that's what we really like about yeah, the whole exactly. Romeo yeah. and Juliet yeah. line. Yeah. Someone pointed out to me that the, actually Romeo and Juliet died both in the end. That we might have chosen this is the a, resurrection, yeah, this, but this is the resurrection. Yeah. Let me tell you, they won't die. No, no. Let's God. move into that corner. Okay. Can you tell us, uh, Pepin? There was you've made some finish changes, haven't you? Absolutely. That is. That. Uh, Sorry, Drew. So everybody is uh, familiar with our antique varnish. This is a new antique varnish uh, semi, the RT59 in antique sunburst, and as you can see. It has all the mock-ups and, and really the, the dings that you would expect on a 50, 60 year old instrument. I love this. I don't know if you can have a close-up on the neck. Yeah. It's so well done. And, yeah, every, marks, yeah. and every guitar is done individually. So they're all different. So they'll never have exactly the same kind of uh, marks. But the biggest problem with the antique varnish for us is that the drying time is extremely long. So that means that we have a hard time delivering them in time to the, so we needed to also have a finish that kind of had that same look same feel without the antiquing the relicking if you want 
but was drying a little faster. Took us a long time, but if you look at this one, this is the True Tone Vintage Gloss. And as you can see, it has that same kind of patina yeah. that the varnish has, yeah. but then without the antiquing. Same pickups, Lola Imperials. The T59 also has the Lola Imperials, the, the H Goldo hardware, Switchcraft, everything still. Stuff. Yeah. But then we can make those a lot easier because yeah. they just, the drying time is... Um, I guess this is a yeah, really thin finish. Yeah, well. it's a very so, thin yeah. poly finish. It's our True Tone finish, which we, uh, which we, the recipe we got from Dana Bourgeois, yeah. who claims it's, 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 it's superior to Nitro. Yeah. The only thing is it doesn't crack. But also for all those people out there that always wanted like a varnish guitar without the antiquing, now we have them. Yeah. This is the SB59, but we also have them in the T64, the red yeah, one. great. Of course, beautifully aged. I always love the fact how the shop ages the Bixby's. Yeah, the, it yeah, looks yeah. so good. I have a 63 Casino, and that that has a Bixby, and they just really studied that one. And you can see, and one of the one of the specific uh, things that I wanted to point out for our guitars is the eye for detail. We always try to go all the way. So what you see, the binding on the pickguard is the same color, so it's aged like the binding on the guitar instead of this being stark white yeah, yeah. and the rest being cream which looks a bit weird yeah. also the non-bleached bone is also something that immediately a lot of other brands carry the nylon white which always looks a bit off to me because yeah, yeah you never see that on an old guitar no, right. no. so then another beautiful antique varnish guitar that we released is the one pickup T49 uh, my colleague Mark Herring uh, asked for this for a long time. He's a real jazz player. Because you used to, you, you used to make a single pickup T49. Yeah, and then yeah. we switched to two pickups. Two pickups that yeah. one stays on. That's in the True Tone varnish, yeah. uh, the True Tone Vintage Gloss. Sorry, and then in the antique varnish, we only have this one with the Lawler Imperial. Amazing guitar. And I, it, it, it really freaks me out that almost nobody is making arch tops anymore. No. No. Even the big G just no, no. stopped yeah, they, building no. them, and, and it, yeah. I know this, they're working on a, a, on bringing a, a lot of that kind of stuff back. Well, they shoot because it's the heritage. Exactly, exactly. Lots of mandolins, yeah. new mandolins. I always love this. The, our, our, we always call it our mini Les Paul because it's it's the El Rey Mando. Yeah. It's got the Lola humbucker, and you can shred it on any I'll pedal. Bet, yeah. So yeah, for you uh, mandolin players yeah. out there. Okay, let's move over to the acoustic corner. Let's okay. see if we can bulge bump, in. Bump some people out of the way. Yeah, I saw the email for these ones. They, they look great. Yeah, look at this. Yeah. I'm just... These are the new Luthier series. They've got quilted sapella back and sides. A beautiful back strip. It's our crossover line, so it's a little bit traditional in terms of the body shapes. So a, a double OSS or an OM. And at the same time, it's got a sound port. It's got all nice, beautiful new uh, inlays, uh, beautiful magenta purfling, stuff like that, turquoise purfling, snake wood. So it's kind of like a crossover between traditional and modern. It looks a real custom shop, doesn't it? Yeah, that is, that is what we try to do. It's also the influence that we had with Dana Bourgeois inspiring us to do stuff that is really uh, yeah, different from, from what we already have. And there is, there is a real, I don't know if you see that at Peach as well, but I see more and more small body guitars being, being sold. There oh, yeah, because more and more people are still playing at home and they just don't necessarily need that big dreadnought bluegrass. Exactly. Uh, like hammer punch. They're going for the more sweeter fidelity kind of sound. Yeah, and it's, it's, people are starting to discover that a small body guitar does something different from a big... Oh, yeah. They both are brilliant, but... One you, you play differently than oh, with, with the like other. All of your little uh, double O size things, we sell yeah. tons of those. Nah, that's great, that's great. And this is the last one, new series, the specials, the E1 specials. We have our entry level E1Ds, E1OMs. They're fully solid, spruce top, uh, sapelli back and sides. But now the specials, these have a crazy, crazy pricing. They're like, this one's £8.99. Torrified Sitka spruce top. So you have your own uh, kiln? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. do them in our own kilns. Uh, the beautiful herringbone rosette, 12 fret North Star inlay. Pick up as well on there. Fishman Sonitone and a quilted Sapelli. The other one 
the Luthia series has the double O, a double A, sorry, double A uh, quilted sapelli, and this one is the, the single A quilted sapelli. And we have nice these. Value, though. This is the first time that we do an OMCE again. Yeah. The OMCE body shape we got from Dana Bourgeois, his famous soloist model, which he made for Martin uh, back in the 80s. Yeah. So that's also, for us, made it really easy to start this again. OM, OMCE, and a dread. The dread and the OM are 799 pounds. I mean, that, that just looks ridiculous for, for that price, 799. Yeah, the beautiful, for years we were we were looking if we could like put a little tent on the on the on the tops to make them look a little older. It all failed because yeah. if you if you if you try to tan it, it yeah. looks orangey. It looks horrible. It looks like spray tan. But you don't want that. So ever since we started to to torrify, to thermocure as we call it, the tops, they just look like yeah. like old Martins. Yeah. Yeah. Is this with a uh, with a gig bag or a hard case? Yeah, they come with, they, these come with a with a gig bag. Yeah. The Luthia series come with a, a and with the Luthia series, there's also an OMC coming with that. Yeah. So this this one, like that one, yeah, same yeah. shape, uh, with the double A. Yeah. Wow. yeah. So that's it for now, folks. Yeah. Well, that's a, a few very very nice additions to the lineup. So yeah, it's all good. I mean, the rest of the um, the, the lineup that's there already. It's, just, it's so good that sometimes when we come to NAM, you almost don't want to see too many new additions because, especially with Eastman, for us, everything sells so well, yeah. the electrics, the acoustics and stuff, and, and uh, maybe we can uh, hustle you for a few mandolins as well at some yeah, point. So definitely. We'll do it. Awesome. Well, thanks for your time, as always. Thank you all. And, uh, come and check some guitars out. Cheers, guys. Bye. Cheers.